Hello and welcome, and thank you so much for tuning in. Distribution for the month of August was announced on September 5th, 2024. And September 6th, 2024, which was yesterday, was the first day the ETF traded without the benefits of dividend. It means if you bought ETF on September 6th, you are not going to get the dividend for that because anyone who bought it before September 6th is going to get it. So this is a good time to take a look at the last month performance and see year to date which of this ETF really performed the best. So what I'm going to do in this video is perform a detailed mathematical analysis of every single one of them and see which one was the best performing, which one did not meet the mark, and which one did not perform the at all, right? Because at the end of the day, it's all about the numbers. It's just the numbers. And understanding the math behind the decision can really make a difference in achieving the financial goal. So before I move into the video, one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. 90% of my listeners are non-subscribers. So I need your support. So please subscribe and let's together grow this channel so we can learn together. One more thing, I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician by profession. So what I'm going to do in this video is perform a detailed mathematical analysis. And I will let you make a decision based on the numbers. So I provide the knowledge. It is one more data point that you will have and that will make it easy for you to make the decision. You make the decision, I provide you the information and the data point. How about that? All right, so let's move on. Let's go into the Yield Max ETF website. If you look at the, sorry about that, it's taking longer. Here you go. So if you look at this Yield Max ETF website, right? So there are more than 32 of these ETFs. There's so many different ETFs. Mostly it's all single stock ETF. That is how it all started. Then it keep growing and there were some multiple stocks ETF was added. One of them is Magnificent 7th and then RT of them. And before it was all just long, long, long. Now there were some short was added to that too. So let's do this. I'm going to upload all this into the Google spreadsheet. So here it is. So what I did is I uploaded every single one of them, all 32 of those into this Google spreadsheet. Now, Tesla was the first Yield Max ETF that was started on November 2022. And after that, you see all these different ETF. Now, the one that highlighted in the light yellow is or the one that is the multiple ETF and it has a different distribution schedule. The distribution schedule for these three are in the middle of the month. It's a, so just few, actually one more week before it will be announced. The one that you see highlighted in yellow, CRSH, FIAT, DIPS, these are the short options income strategy. This was the new one that was actually added of those. So I uploaded all 32 of these over here. Now, if you see that these are the reference it stocks with TSLY Tesla is based on Tesla, MC on Amazon, Connie on Coin, and these are the date that this were initiated. So what I'm gonna do is since I am doing the air to date performance, so I will take a look at the price at the beginning of the year. So the first trading day of the year was January 2. So if you take a look at the Tesla, right? Just one example. Okay, here's that. Let's go to Google. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to Google. You see that here to date. January 2nd was the first trading day of Tesla, right? And the price was $23.96. So I took that one and I put it over here, $26.96. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's do this. I'm going to invest $5,000. This is just a hypothetical $5,000. I'm going to put it in every single one of them. So what's going to happen? If the price of the stock on the first trading day of the year was $23.96 and I put $5,000 in that. With that, I can buy. Let's see how many can I buy. I can buy $5,000 divided by $23.96, $208.68. And I do know we do not trade in the fraction, but just for the sake of simplicity, to making sure we all understand it, I'm just going to leave it as a fraction. So you can buy 208 or 209, whatever you prefer. And then this is the total dividend I earned year to date. Now, these are all 32 of those. So I'm going to do the mathematical analysis of every single one of them and see which one performed the best, which one performed the worst. So to do that, what I'm going to do is let's pick few of these 
to go behind the number and see how all these were calculated. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's take an example of test three, TSLY. So I picked three of those. Right? Test, I picked test three because test three was the oldest one. And then NVDY, which is uh, for NVIDIA. And then MSDY, which is MSDR, which is macro strategy. All three of those, I'm going to use it as a center. So let's take an example of Tesla, right? So what I'm doing, I am investing $5,000, hypothetical, into that, right? So as I sh showed you on the beginning of the year, on the January 2nd, 2024, you see the stock price was $23.96, right? So I put $23.96. So if I put $5,000, and I'm buying it each for 23.96. How many can I buy? I can buy 208, 168 share of or ETF of Tesla, right? Now that is what I bought it. Now since I bought it on the January 2nd, right? So if you go to the website over here, let's take a look at Tesla, right? So yes, Tesla. So since I bought it on January 2nd, right? So January 4th, February 6th, March, April, May, June, July. So since I have that in my portfolio since the beginning of the year, so I'm getting dividend or distribution paid on each ETF of Tesla, this amount of money, right? So let's do this. Let's transfer it over here. So what I did is I put that over here, right? On January 4th, dividend paid was $1.11, February 81 cents, March 81, April 68, <coughs> excuse me, May 69, June 64, and so on, so on, so on. So each month, we're getting paid this much of dividend. So what does that mean? If January I paid $1.11, February I got paid 81. So that means that total I got 192. So if I add all this one, so total dividend that was paid from air to date on Tesla was 7.54, right? So 7.54 was the dividend that was paid on Tesla air to date. Since we have 209 share of Tesla, so the total dividend I earn is what? I multiply every single Tesla dividend multiplied with the number of what we have is $1,574. Okay. Now, what is the Tesla price today? So, Tesla price today is $12.17, right? That's what Tesla price is. So, today price is $12.17. So, I have 209 share of Tesla. The share price today is $12.17. So, the value of that, right? So, the value of that is $12.17 multiplied with this one, $2,539. So $5,000 Tesla, which I bought at the beginning of the year, is worth $2,539.65, right? But every month I've been getting paid dividend for that, right? So total dividend paid was $7.54 on each share of Tesla. So that comes up to $15.74. So if you add the stock value of Tesla as of today and add the dividend earned, the total is $4,114. What that means, that means if I invested $5,000 at the beginning of the year on Tesla is only worth $4,114. So in other words, we are losing money onto that trade. We lost $885, almost like 18% of that, right? So let's take a few other examples and see how that works so we can better understand that. Now I'm going to pick another one called NVD, right? Let's take a look of NVD. Exactly the same thing, I'm going to invest $5,000. So let's take a look over here, NVDY. NVDY. So the beginning of the year, the first trading day of the year, the price of NVDY was $22.13, right? $22.13, here you go. Okay, so I think I made a mistake over here. So let's see, NVDY, okay, $22.13, right? $22.13, $22.13, right, the share price. So how much I got? If I have $22.13 price on the beginning of the year, I bought 226 NVD share, right? Now, since I bought it at the beginning of the year, right? So if you go over there, so we've been getting dividend paid every month, right? January, February, March, April. So if we add every single one of them, right? I mean, from January to September, the total dividend paid was $16.2025, right? $16.23. Now, the stock value of NVDY today is Okay, NVDY, how much the value is 2096, eh? 2096, 2096. So what does that mean? That means is the value of each ETF is 2096 and I own 226 of this. So the value of NVDY is 4,735 today, right? Now, 
we've been getting dividend paid every single month, right? So total dividend we've earned day to date is sixteen dollar twenty two cents, right? Which is sixteen twenty two. So what we're going to do is we have we earn sixteen twenty two per share, and we own this many of this ETFs three six six five. What does that mean? So that means we have total value of investment we made at the beginning of the year five thousand is worth current value of the stock plus the dividend that we earn. So if you add both of this, it become like $8,400. What that, that means? That means we put $5,000 at the beginning of the year and right now it's worth $3,400, which is a gain of 68%. Not bad at all, right? Okay, so one more example, I'm going to do three and then after that, I will just show you all those that I did on the background and then we, from that, we will determine which is the best performing and which is the worst performing of those. Let's look at one or more of those. That's Misty, right? Okay, here is the Misty. M-S-T-Y, right? Misty. Here to date. All right, so when the fund was started, oh, that was on February 22, right? The price was $21.19, right? So let's go over here on Messi, $21.19, right? So we're investing $5,000. So what? So $5,000 we invested, and the price of each is $21.19. That means we can buy 236 of those, right? Now, today, yesterday was the last trading day of the week, right? so on September 6th. The price of the MST was $19.07, right? So price of MST, $19.17. So the value of the stock is, today's stock value multiplied with this, almost $4,500, which is less than $5,000. But we've been getting paid dividend every month, right? So if you look at the dividend paid from the beginning or from the time it was invested, the, the total value of dividend was $15.89, right? I mean, the first dividend was paid on April 3, then May, June, July, August, September. The sixth dividend was paid and the total was $15.80. So we got paid $15.81 dividend and we have 236 of these. So what does that mean? That means this $15.81 multiplied with this, $3,700 dividend was paid. So the total value is $8,230. What does that mean? That means the $5,000 invested on MSTY when the fund was started on February 21 is worth $8,200. So that's a gain of 65%, right? So now I went through the three examples. From those three examples, now you know how these numbers was calculated. So let's do this. Let's go to over here. All right, so for the sake of simplicity, let's hide this. I don't, so I can see, look at this. Let me hide this one. We don't need that one. And then I don't need this one. Let me hide this one too. Okay, and let's do this. So, my apologies. Okay, good, here you go. So. I have hide some columns, so make sure you know we can look at it. So I showed you three examples, exactly the same way. I went through the same exercise for every single one of these ETFs. That is like 32 of those ETFs. Tesla, I showed you, right? How much we are making on those. Um, I give an example of Tesla, NVDY, which I showed you the example of that. And then we have this other one I did was the MSTY, MST, and we, we look at the example of MSTY on that. So based on that, if you really look at it, I think I probably maybe, have, let me just check on the, the NVDY. NVDY is 2213. 22, I think I had to the price is 2213. Okay. Okay. So you, you can check that price on that. I, I may have uh, picked the wrong one, but that will give you an idea. So based on that, right, let's, let's take a look. So I calculated on every single one of them. And this is what I came up with. So now let's sort it out with high to low, right? So let's take a look at so. Okay, let's, and then I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rank them from high to low. Okay, now you look at that, right? So looking at this, right? So what I did is I, I showed you how I got Tesla, NVDY, and MSC. The same method, I, I use the same formula, and I just plug it in, and I did the calculation for all 32 of those. Now, based on that, this is how much we got on every single one of them, right? I mean, say, and then he sorted it out from high percentage gain to the, the low. So if you really look at that, the top five one of them really stand out is NVDY, which is number one, gain of 68%. MSTY is 64%. And rest of them is actually not as great as the NVDY and MSTY. Now, let's take a look at from the worst to, no, no, this is from worst top five worst. Look at the MRNY, which is uh, for Madonna. AI, Bitcoin ETP, Tesla, 
So based on that, now you would know that which of these are the best performing and which are the worst performing of that. So let me just sort it out by here. So let's do yes. Okay. Now, if you have to put money into that, which one are you gonna put? The one that's the best performing and the one that is worst performing. So it's, it's your decision. I'll leave it to you to make a decision. Now, a couple of things I want to add it over here. Number one, I totally understand. Not all of us bought it at the beginning of the year and kept it as of today. We all have different trading strategy. We buy it at different time. We sell it at different time. Some of us keep it just for a month. Some of us keep it for the two months. So this is just to give you an overview of air to date performance. I have done a couple of individual videos where I went back and look it on individual. Right? This is one of the example like I did for you LTY. I went back and look at a different month and say, okay, if it's a different date, you would have bought it. How much gain would have you made it? So if you're looking for the overview for the entire year, then this is the best video for you. So if you're looking for individual one at a different time period, then please go take a look at my channel. You will find the video with those uh, formula and calculation that what you are looking for. So and I hope you enjoyed this video and it is profitable and beneficial to you. So use this as a one data point in making a decision which one to should you buy. As I said before, you know, I'm not an advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to sell or to buy. I do mathematics. I do the calculation and this is one data point for you and that data will help you make a decision. So that is pretty much I have for the day. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, so please share, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you soon with some other video. Till then, thank you so much and have a good day.